Okay, you guys, we got a 2000 uh, NPR here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what all the issues are. There was a rough idle. There was, I believe, a transmission issue and something to do with the cluster on the dash. But anyway, so all this is tied into one fuse. And it's incredible that I found where it was. But um, after a little research and tracing some wires, I found it. My problem with this truck was that it had a short, it had a draw, and it was sucking juice left and right. It was the fuel pump was staying on and the accessory was staying on. And so there was a switch that was wired in to shut the engine down. And so in order to get rid of that switch, we need to find out where the draw was coming from. Eventually, I did find the draw. It was behind this fuse panel here in the, right now I'm on the passenger side, I pulled the glove box and behind here, let me show you here the wire. So somebody had put this piece of wire in between there and jumped across for the ignition and fuel. And so that was my draw. But now what's the problem with starting the truck? Why couldn't I start? It was crank only, no start. It was a, uh, when we did get it running, even when I plugged that back in, we had the rough idle and the transmission was having some issues. Well, if you look straight down inside the dash here behind this panel and turn your heads towards the driver's side, I think you can see that little tiny box right there with three fuses. The very top one, that 10 amp was blown. That caused it to have no accessory, no ignition. That also controls the transmission shifting. And a key way to find out is if your instrument panel is, is down or flickering because there's some amperage that's drawn from that 10 amp fuse. Or was it 10 amp or 15? 10 amp. So there's a 10 amp, a 10 amp, and a 15 amp. It was the top one, the 10 amp that was blown. I think you can see it right there, the top one. And so whoever re made the repair didn't look for that 10 amp that was blown or couldn't find it and ended up doing a quick hot wire, if you would, to keep the ignition running. But the problem was there was a draw and it's been burning up fuel pumps because that was always on even when they shut the key off. If they forgot to shut down the main and just shut the key off, um, not only would it drain the battery at night because the accessory was on, but the fuel pump constantly ran and it was putting out, burning out fuel pumps about every two, three months. So anyway, that's the problem. I hope this helps somebody else out. I got to put all this back together now. Um, please click like, please click subscribe and uh, click on my name for all my other how-to videos. There's a few of them now with this, uh, with the NPR. So if you're having any issues, please let me know or, or help out anybody else that's having an issue. And uh, check out the comments below that other people leave. If you can help them out, that would be great too. Thanks again, you guys. Enjoy.